Hey coders, how's it going? Chris here, and today we're going to do a little bit of styling for our Star Wars soundboard app. And because I pretty much suck as a designer, I'm gonna keep things pretty basic here. So what I have is a star background, like this, and I just found this through Google image search. I don't want to use any Star Wars characters in my background because I didn't want to run into any trademark or copyright issues. Uh, but for my demo, I'm sure it would have been okay. But just be careful if you're publishing stuff. So here I also have a Star Wars logo. And I found this on Wikipedia Commons. And I found this little note down here. It says that this image does not meet the threshold of originality needed for copyright protection and therefore is in public domain. Now I don't know how correct this is, but this is the logo that I plan to use in my application. I also have a Star Wars font and there are actually four of them in here and I found this through this site the font and it's 100% free to use so I'm going to be uh, changing the button text to use this sort of Star Wars themed typography. Now if you guys complete this soundboard app and then you guys style it a different way I definitely want you to show me and if you do I'll share it with everyone else. Okay so let's go ahead and prepare our assets. Here I've got the two images downloaded. You'll notice that I put at 3x because this is intended to be the largest size for the iPhone 6 Plus. You want to make sure you have a nice healthy resolution for your images as a 3x. So you can see here for this background it's huge. Right? So you want to make sure you have some large assets to work with. And you're going to add the at 3x suffix to your file name. And then you're going to go over here to this app called Prepo. You can download it for free from the Mac App Store. And when you open it, it looks like this. I'm going to go to Artwork. And I'm just going to drag both of these into here. And then I'm going to click Export. And just save it right there. So that's going to create my 2x versions and the 1x versions. All right Now I can close Prepo. Now I'm going to open up the Xcode project which we were working on. We're going to go into the assets library and then we're going to highlight all of these images and then we're just going to drag it into there. And it's going to be smart enough to group them together into two image assets. SW logo and SW stars. So let's start off by going into the main.storyboard and adding two image views, one for the background and one for the logo. So because my screen is a little small right now, I'm just going to make sure I have my document outline open down to the view here and I'm going to search for image and it's going to show up the image view in the object library. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this and move it into my document outline. Now I don't want to put it into the stack view. I want to put it above the stack view into my view. So I've right now I've accidentally replaced my view. That's really bad. Press command Z just undo that and try it again. So sometimes if you have to just put it inside your stack view or below it just do that first and then you can move it so you want it right there in between the view and the stack view because you want the stack view to sit on top of the image view all right so i'm just going to label this background so that we know and then i'm going to add some constraints to anchor it to all, all four edges so i'm going to uncheck constrain the margins I'm just going to go zero. It's going to turn on all four constraints when you edit the values in there. And you just want to make sure that the nearest neighbor, click this little arrow to pull the drop down, that it's relative to the view. Okay. And it might change the number back on you. So press zero again. Now check the top and the bottom. Make sure that the nearest neighbor is view and not the layout guide. Okay. So when you add these four constraints, uh, and then you go update frames, it's going to stretch the image view to all four sides like that. And if that doesn't work out for you, just go under here and delete the constraints that relate to the image view and try it again. So for the background, I'm going to choose SW stars. And as you can see, uh, instantly we see all these stars. I'm going to change it to aspect fill so it doesn't stretch out the background image. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another image view here and this is going to be the Star Wars logo. So I'm just going to rename this quickly. And I also want this to sit behind the stack view because I don't want it to block the buttons. Next what I'm going to do is add some constraints. I want to add a constraint against the top 
and I want to add a constraint against the stack view right here so that it's never going to overlap the stack view. So make sure that the logo is selected. Go down here. Let's uncheck constraint and margins. I'm going to click this arrow, make sure it's against the view. So 15 is all right. Let's turn on the bottom margin and check that the nearest neighbor is the stack view. And I'm going to also change this to 15. So now let's add two constraints. We also want to horizontally center it, so let's do that. And then finally, we can choose the image SW logo. And I'm going to choose aspect to fit, like that. It's going to keep it nice and tidy in there. Let's update frames. Okay, so now let's run it so we can see the logo and the background. And there we go. So now let's change the font so that it looks a little more Star Wars-y. And the font that I'm going to use out of these four is probably this one right here, StarJedi.TTF. And if we look in the folder with the fonts, that's this first folder right here. So I probably need this one. So I'm going to drag this StarJedi.TTF into the Xcode project, but I'm going to create a folder or a group, sorry, for fonts first. And then let's go ahead and add this into the fonts folder. So I'm going to copy items if needed, so it's going to include it in my project folder. And make sure that this add to targets is checked. It might not be checked by default. So let's click finish. By checking that, it includes it in our app bundle. Okay, so the next thing we have to do now is go into our info.p list and we have to add a key. So click this plus icon and type in fonts or capital F fonts provided by application. Now the next step is to expand this and it should by default have an item zero. We just want to double click here in the value column and we're going to add our font file name. So make sure that you spell it exactly as the file name is with the proper capitalization and everything because it's actually pretty finicky so finicky in fact that I wrote a whole post about it on my site codewithchris.com called common mistakes with adding custom fonts to your iOS app and we've done probably steps one to four at this point okay so going back to it we're gonna press command B to build the project and usually I customize the font, I change the font on labels using code, but here we're going to try to do it in the storyboard. So hopefully just by adding the font to our info.p list, we can use it here when we want to customize the button text. So I'm going to select my lightsaber button and over here on the font section in the inspector, I'm going to click this icon, change it to custom and under family, look for star Jedi, which is right here so that's great that's awesome and next I'm going to probably change the color to maybe a yellow or something like that or maybe white because the logo is yellow so you can see how my designer mind works <laughs> or lack thereof so I'm gonna go with white and actually I'm just going to select blaster firing hold down command and select the other two buttons so I'm gonna modify all three at once Click the icon, the font button, uh, choose custom, for family go down to Star Jedi, and then I'm going to change the text to white. Now it looks like I need to update frames because one of them is getting a little cut off. I'm going to select the stack view, go down here, say update frames. Okay, it still looks cut off, but I don't think it will be if we run it. I think this is only because, yeah. See, it's getting cut off here because I think this image, or you know what, I'm not sure why, but it looks fine in our simulator. So there's our styled Star Wars soundboard app. Don't forget that you can customize this to any sort of theme that you want and put in your own sounds. Now, my customizations were pretty basic, so if you build this demo and you theme it or you customize it for yourself, let me know. And if I get enough submissions, I'll create a separate video showing all your creations. And if I don't get enough submissions, I'll still share your app on my social accounts so that uh, everyone can see what an awesome job you did. Anyways, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this series, please subscribe, please like the video, and please share them with any Star Wars fans that you know of. So thank you once again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Take it easy. Bye.